Do you have a growly dog? You know, a dog that growls, barks, lunges, or snaps at other dogs whenever he's on a leash. Then you need Growly Dog Class. It's special training for dogs that overreact when other dogs are around. Hi everyone, welcome to Growly Class. Thank you for joining us. Dog trainers Jessica Blake and Denise Mullenix of Behave Canine Solutions say Growly Dog Class can take the bark, the bite, and the fear out of countless unruly canines. Dogs use barking and aggressive behavior as a way of saying, I'm not comfortable, please stay back. Um, so that's sort of a natural way for them to communicate to another dog, don't approach me anymore. If the dog is fear-based and they're under-socialized, it's really, really stressful. In dog training, we've made huge strides in the last 10, 20 years. I mean, amazing things have happened. And, and what we're doing now is we're really treating the, the underlying cause and not just the symptoms. Growly Dog Class starts out with each dog, usually no more than five in a class, behind their own private barrier with their owner. They don't see the other dogs until class is underway, so they won't get overexcited. Then it's time for some doggy zen. As we start to do a little massage with the dogs to get them to relax, it also helps the people relax, I find. And so we'll see that uh, Sean here with her dog Maggie is doing some nice, firm, slow massage to help Maggie relax. Once each growly dog is calm, they come out individually for interaction with a neutral, friendly dog. In this case, Jessica's dog, JJ. Go ahead and bring Ruby out. I want you to have your treats ready to go. And as uh, soon as Ruby looks at JJ, you are going to click and feed. We have a dog with a condition response of reactivity to other dogs. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach her that being in the presence of other dogs makes good things happen. We're going to do that by bringing her out with our calm demo dog. And every time she looks at him, we're going to feed her cookies. It doesn't take long for your dog to decide that treats are much more interesting than mixing it up with another dog and since you've got the goodies your dog's attention shifts to you which is exactly what you want Touch. yes my goal for Ruby is so that she is calm around other dogs and maybe she could even live with another one. I decided to bring Jake to the class because when I would walk him down the street on a leash and he would see another dog he becomes very reactive barking um, you know, trying to lunge at the other dog, sometimes even the person. My goal with Maggie is that we can walk around in the neighborhood and maybe go to dog parks and have her no longer be afraid of other dogs. Growly Dog class lasts for six weeks. Then these dogs go into Growly Dog 2. As you can see, it's a process, but slowly all these dogs are getting more comfortable with other dogs being closer. Ideally, your dog would meet lots of other dogs and be well socialized while well, still a puppy, but not enough doggy contact, a traumatic event, basic insecurity, and some breed characteristics can turn a dog into a growly dog. There are a lot of organizations now which are really promoting this type of training, and so you're starting to see it pop up more and more. Right there. Beautiful. Good catch, Carly. I'm Kim Singer with Better Pets.